Cause I wanted to be dressed just the same. I see you shiver with anticipation. Okay, but for real, we're going to get started on this Halloween tutorial. I hope you guys are so pumped. This was actually a requested look, so a huge shout out to Peyton for requesting Dr. Frankenfurter. I really hope that you guys like it. So I did just start off with a pore filling primer because mama's got big pores. And now I'm going in with a lighter foundation shade. You want to make sure that you do not blend this down your neck like you would normally. You want to have a nice harsh line because that is how Tim Curry had his makeup in the movie. And so you could definitely use like a really light, light foundation or a white base, but I decided to go this route today. And then for concealer, I'm really over concealing more than I normally would. So I'm doing little tricks with my makeup. So my concealer and my contours, you'll see later to alter my face shape to look more like Tim Curry. So I made my chin more circular, as you could see by putting my concealer in a more circular shape. And then with underneath my eyes, I put on so much concealer from my inner corner of my eye all the way down the side of my nose and up towards my temple. That's really going to bring that area much more forward than it normally would be and just really kind of altering my shape. And then with my nose, as you can see, it's just a huge line down the center of my nose to make my nose appear a little more wide. Of course, I've got to set it because I'm an oily bitch. And so I'm going in with the Mehron Ultra White Setting Powder. This is perfect, especially since I didn't have like a really, really white foundation to use. So this really brightens it up. I put it everywhere that I put concealer. And then I just did a light dusting all over the rest of my face as well. Girl, we got to get them brows on. So I did outline my brow first with just an eyebrow pencil. I would highly recommend that you do that so you can get the shape how you want it. And then if you were to mess up, it's easier to fix than the liquid liner that I'm now going in with. But all his eyebrow is really is like a little pointy line above his natural brow. And I decided to fill in my natural brow with the eyeliner, as you can see me doing here. You don't necessarily have to do that if your eyebrows are like thicker than mine, but I wanted it to kind of be a little cohesive. So I filled it in and then I did add a few hairs in the front just because my natural eyebrow didn't start as far in as his did. So I wanted to kind of add that to it, but it's really not that hard. The main focus is just getting the nice thin line at the top. We have then got to do one hell of a nose contour, girl. Don't be shy. Slap it on there nice and dark. Don't really blend it in. And you want to blend it up to the thin brow and then just under your natural brow a bit just to make it look a little more realistic. And then what I was talking about earlier about manipulating my face shape, I'm also doing this by contouring my chin a little bit to make it a little more round and protrude out a little bit more. That is what I'm doing there. And then I'm also kind of doing some smile lines. You can totally skip all of this if you want to, but I figured if I'm going in, I'm going in. So I will touch up the smile lines later in the video so they'll be a little bit more prominent towards the end, but I just skipped over that step. So do with this what you will. I'm also going to go ahead and map out my cheek contour and you could definitely skip this part and just go in with like the blush or something but I figured I was here so I would do it and this is a really dramatic contour as you can see from the temple all the way down to the mouth and I'm placing the contour not underneath my natural cheekbone but about halfway up on it to again make my sh face shape a little bit more manly and so my natural cheekbones wouldn't stick out as far because his don't. And then of course you got to even everything out. So I did just a little bit around the temples and then I also do my jawline as you'll see here in a moment because he has a snatched jawline girl and if he's got one then I have to have one. So at least make sure you cut your jaw.
Okay, so moving on to the eyes, I did tight line my upper and lower waterline with this black eyeliner, but I decided to skip on showing you that. You are welcome, dad. But then now I am taking the black eyeliner and I'm doing it all over my lower lash line from inner to outer corner. And again, this is very, very messy, so do not worry about it being neat or straight or even. Just slap it on there, girl. And then you are going to do the same for your upper lash line as well. Pretty much, if you were anything like me or most of my friends, it's going to be the eyeliner you wore probably like middle school, early high school. So just channel that part of your life, if you will. And then he also had a really dark line through his crease. Now, you can definitely do this after you do your eyeshadow. I'm not sure why I did it first, but I did. So I'm just going to show you it because you wonder why it was there if I just cut this part out. But you can do this after your eyeshadow. But because I did it before, I did decide to kind of just buff it out a little bit because I was like, oh, it'll make, you know, my eyeshadow look less funky, even though it doesn't matter if your eyeshadow looks funky. Just, you know, do as I say, not as I do on this part, okay? For the eyeshadow, I took this like navy color from the Jawbreaker palette, which turned out to be the most perfect shade that I could have asked for. And on a fluffy brush, I just pop this all over my lid from lash line up into your brow hair, girl. Just put it all the way, cover all the space. And literally, it's going to go kind of diagonal from your outer corner of your eye up to your brow. And then it's going to go in a nice straight line from the inner corner of your eye up to the front of your brow. But literally, other than that, just slap it on. You don't want to make it even. You don't want to blend it all out. You want some of your skin to peek through, as you can see that mine's doing so. Really, with this look, just don't think too hard about it. The less you think about it, I think the better it will turn out. So this is me going back in and re-putting that dark line in the crease that I mentioned. So definitely learn from my mistakes. Wait until after you do your eyeshadow. Save yourself a step. And then here, I'm just going to clean up the front portion because like I mentioned, it is supposed to be very straight line in here and mine just got a little bit messy. I know you can't really see what I'm doing because I was so disrespectful with my little mirror, but just know that I cleaned that up to make it more straight. And then next, we are going in with like a peachy orange blush and do not be shy, girl. Slap this on there. Just, oh my gosh, an ungodly amount of blush. It will be perfect. And then I'm just taking some more of that ultra white face powder and just kind of cutting out underneath it. And this is also really helping to brighten up the foundation in this area. And I retouch up my nose as well. You're going to want to slap on a coat of black mascara on your top and bottom lashes. You can definitely add falsies if you want to, but I personally don't think this look calls for that. And then I am lining my lips with a black lip pencil. You can also use an eyeliner if you do not have a black lip pencil. And then the only other thing I am doing here is I'm kind of extending my smile lines out, kind of like you would a clown, to match Tim Curry's lip shape. I'm then taking a red liquid lipstick and make sure that you don't cover up the lip liner. And then last but not least, I'm topping it off with a really juicy clear gloss because his lips are so luscious in the film. And then once you've done that, you guys, you're going to want to pop on your wig and your accessories and you are good to go. So this is my take on Dr. Frankenfurter. I hope that you guys loved it as much as I did. P.S. I did hand draw that tattoo. You are welcome. Definitely give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. How'd you do, I? See you've met my faithful hand in hand. He's just a little broad guy because when you knocked, he thought you were the candy man. I'm just a sweet transvestite from transsexual Transylvania. It's not easy having a good time. Even smiling makes my face ache.